I will talk about the term government interferences under Sugar Charter Party 99 form. You will be either relieved or disappointed to know that my topic today has nothing to do with UK government interference in Brexit process, so please keep listening. This is a highly unusual case because the English High Court overturned a unanimous decision by their experienced and respected LMA arbitrators. Only one case uh, succeeded on appeal in 2017, which just shows that UK courts try to not interfere with arbitration awards and respect their arbitrators' decisions. In summary, the, the circumstances of this case were as follows. Firstly, false cargo documents were submitted by the receivers to the customs authorities in relation to discharge of sugar in Algeria. Uh, the customs authorities noticed a difference uh, within the declared price of cargo and market price. Uh, the customs authorities, on consultations with the central uh, customs authorities uh, of Algeria, has taken decision under local rules and regulations to seize the cargo. Later on, the decision was taken to sell cargo at auction and keep the proceeds uh, to the treasury. The delay of discharge of four and a half months ensued. The appeal on the de tribunal's decision was permitted by English High Court because uh, it was of public importance, as it related to a widely used uh, standard charter party form. The point of law under Section 69 uh, uh, Arbitration Act appeal was framed as following. Where cargo is seized by the local customs authorities at the discharge port, causing a delay to discharge, is the time so lost caused by government interferences within the meaning of Clause 28 of Sugar Charter Party 1999 form? Although the tribunal uh, pointed out that seizure and delays can be expected when false cargo documents are presented to the customs authorities, the court did not agree with that and said that expected uh, consequences are not the same as ordinary actions of uh, the customs authorities, even though s some seizures are expected more frequently and more often in certain jurisdictions. The owners further argued that government interference should be something beyond the control of parties and their proxies, which means something within the meaning of force majeure clause. However, the court did not, did not want to agree with that and held that although the clause 28 had a marginal heading saying force majeure, it included, it included a mixture of matters. The court held that a seizure by the local customs authorities did amount to government interference in the circumstances of this particular case and the time so lost would not count as lay time or time on demurrage. We think that the court's decision in this case was against the common commercial sense and it will be very difficult to apply in practice. Uh, in, in real life, uh, the owner has no control uh, over the actions of the cargo receiver at a relevant jurisdiction and cannot control if or not fraudulent cargo documents are presented. The receiver is usually chosen by the charterer and not the ship owner, therefore the charterer should bear responsibility uh, for the receiver's actions. Therefore, we think that this issue will definitely be discussed by the Court of Appeal at some point or the authors of a, of a charter party will have to amend Clause 28 so it would be better represent the real obligations and liabilities of the parties. Thank you for listening.